the turntables. Bruh. We are back at the farm one week after um, the big, big news of it becoming Six Flags Knott's Berry Farm. Ah! No, that's not what happened. It is a week after Halloween, so let's see uh, what progress they've made um, with the changeover of seasons and see if uh, the park will be crowded on what is now the military days, Monday through Thursday, for the next couple weeks. But first, as we always do, let's check in on that great structure to the south, south, west, southwest, the Knott's Hotel. I feel like I should mention another big thing that's happened in the last week is uh, the skies are super cloudy and it is raining just a tad bit. It is Tuesday, the 7th, I believe. It's beginning to feel a lot like Thanksgiving-ish. Thanksgiving-ish. Still hard at work at this courtyard structure here. They've got um, rebar up there now. Um, they're not going to keep it with that tapered look. It's probably just going to go and look more like these sides here. But they got the trees um, up there. Let's go see what's going on inside though. There's a lot of a lot of construction noises coming from in there. Let's see what those are. Yeah, it looks like they got sick of me uh, looking through the glass here, seeing what they're doing back there because they blocked the whole view off now. Oh, they brought in a lot of dirt here. There's a lot going on. It looks like there's a pathway. This is going to be a pathway to the courtyard. Maybe they, maybe they'll change the entrance. This will be the where they actually have you enter the back way here. Make this like a little, just like a little smoking section or something. And they make this, because look, there's a pathway that goes all the way to the window here. So maybe they're going to make this um, the back entrance, possibly? I don't know. So it looks like they've completely opened this side of the hotel parking lot back again. So just normal auxiliary parking. So this lot is now good. They've got the, uh, the four hotel shuttles here that are taking up the eight spaces. Uh, they ended up just kind of leaving it looking, looking all two-toned and jank. But it's a parking lot. I don't really think you need, you don't need to whiten the teeth of a parking lot, right? I, it's just, people are just coming here to park. I think they've got more important endeavors to be tasking themselves with right now, such as the Amber Waves restaurant, or what will soon be not the Amber Waves restaurant. One thing at a time, I guess, right? One thing at a time. Uh, it looks like they've extended all those, uh, the, um, the beams, are going all the way out to the front of the hotel now. So I'm expecting them to start working on the facade fairly soon, I would imagine, right? Uh, they still got a lot of work to do inside. It also looks like a lot of the focus is on this uh, front part here where they're gonna have all the outdoor seating and stuff as well as um, the entrance to the hotel itself down there on the other side. So there's a lot of worker bees out here um, dealing with that before they get to, obviously, the beautification of what this is gonna end up looking like eventually when they end up painting. I'm assuming they're gonna paint this building to match the building in the back there and get all that stuff taken care of. They're still working on the inside and figuring out all the guts of the situation, but it's moving, it's moving along. Looks like they're moving along with all the uh, scary farm stuff back there too. I got it all in the back. Can't really tell from here. But pretty soon they're going to be taking that lighthouse down, I'm sure, whenever they take all this stuff down here in the front. It's a sad day of sunsetting, but we get the Christmas tree pretty soon. And now we're going to miss that too. The old legacy store. Very welcome addition to Not Scary Farm this year. So the hotel looks like it's in good enough shape. It's going. It's going places. That pretty much does it for the outside of the park. Let's go ahead and go inside the turnstiles now and see what they got going on in there. And they got the displays in Virginia's all Christmased out too. They worked fast on this. Now they've already got all the skeletons and all that 50th anniversary gargle out of there. The sign seems kind of mail it in. A little too generic if you ask me. I'm gonna do something I haven't done in quite a while and that's try to get over there and get a burrito because I'm a little hungry and I had a little bit too much caffeine and no food this morning, so. So let's head on over to the Calico Bakery and see if they have any more burritos for us this morning. I don't know why I always uh, assume that they don't have any burritos when I get here in the morning. Uh, they usually last until about 11 before they run out and they only make one batch. So obviously if 
you haven't heard me say it before, if you if you don't get here before 11, 11.30 and they don't have them, they're not going to have any more. And they only have them in this one spot. So if you get one, make sure you get one. This morning they had chorizo and potato. And of course, I went with chorizo. So I was sitting there eating my burrito. You know, I was thinking to myself, because Ghost Rider is kind of the marquee coaster of this park. What would look super dope is a Hyper or a Giga towering over it running all the way around there and back again. They're getting all the lights up on the roofs as well. They got all the fog, all the, all the snow machines already there. But all the Halloween stuff is down now and now all the Christmas lighting is starting to run along the edge here. So pretty soon Calico will go from foggy to snowy. Some people are already feeling the holiday spirit. That's fun to see. So the carnival is gone. Uh, and they started wheeling out all of the uh, the Christmas show that's going to be here. Looks like it's going to be the same show that was last year, which was the uh, that musical. But this stage runs real, real long. If you look here, it goes way out here, uh, which is almost halfway out in the grass. So maybe this isn't. Well, no, it, it will be the same thing because it's got the the same the same tiered settings and stuff that it had before, where they had the acapella singers and uh, the dancers and stuff. Um, they've obviously got a lot more of the background that they've got to wheel out here too as you can see they're you know they're all on wheels <laughs> so I, I would imagine not incredibly difficult to get the rest of the set out here but they got time they'll be fine and the fountain back to normal it's a real old fountain once again but it's uh flanked by the background of christmas trees over johnny rockets there and also the christmas trees up on the, the dj booth up above the, the board shop behind hang time a little surfboard christmas tree but not seeing all of the, the clown stuff out here anymore. The monkeys hanging off the lights, but it's all replaced by wreaths. Wreaths. So many wreaths. Coast Rider's still down for refurbishment. They're still uh, working on, looks like, the little brake checks. There's two people up there working on it now. I thought they were going to paint it, because the way that they looked, oh, the other one's down here. They're also replacing all of the shrubbery in the planters here on the palm trees along boardwalk with all the uh, the marigolds and christmas shrubbery so pretty remove the shin guards remove the shin guards from this ride jeez look at coasters it's all decked out look at this there's people in front of the queue for accelerator what in the world and that seat is back what in the world is happening here? You can still win the last of these Halloween prizes. They got Wolfman and Frankenstein's monster and Dracula here for you to win a cornhole. A lot of ops out here. Adventures with David over here getting it too. <laughs> so man, are, are, is it gonna happen today, do you think? Really, and I, man, and are, and are we gonna be on there? No, no, I'm not gonna be on it. You're gonna be on it. <laughs> Oof, yeah, maybe. It might, I, might have I, to I enjoy it from a distance. But, but you may even get, you know, let me get some workers on this. This is great, man. This is such a great feeling. Usually for me, I've never really here on opening times. Mm -hmm. Possibly, man. I can feel it. You can smell it. We've been talking about it. The hydraulics smell. are up in the air. Smell it. Dude, it's beautiful weather out here right now. Perfect. It's ready, dude. Perfect. We're ready. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's Again. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. accelerators burning fuel, baby. And it's Snoopy Charlie Brown. You guys seeing that? Holy cow, it's going. Yes! We'll see you on there soon. Christmas time. Yeah! That's what I like. Oh, I actually was expecting this to be closed today. But it's still open. Running strong. I guess it kind of has to be. I think um, if they do run Accelerator today, it would... It would uh, today's actually a good day to close down Silver Bullet. I know Silver Bullet shut down for refurbishment. So they might need a big ride to, to take over for that until gets back online. Silver Bullet's kind of like their constant though. I don't expect that to be down for more than a couple days. As the loud cowboy music blares through the speakers here. Still nothing going on in this little section here. All right, so this whole section is blocked off now. From Woodstock's airmail all the way to, they've, they've blocked off all of the Camp Snoopy stage all the way over here to Flying Ace, that's what it's called. So that's all shut down and the meet and greet is still shut down as well. So basically the entire front side of Camp Snoopy, including the Grand Sierra Railroad, 
is shut down and or behind walls. But on the bright side, plenty of gifts and candy canes out here for everybody. So come get your candy cane and your gift. Fair warning, they'll be, they're behind fences, so you may or may not get in trouble for trying to get them. Oh, but look at that. They've uh, reopened the little bridge. Just the one side, though. Just the one side is open right now. Still no idea what they plan on doing with this other side, but it's looking nasty. But even with all the merger news and the money involved and the plans and the, all the stuff, we don't know what's going on here. What we do know is Camp Snoopy seems to be slowly becoming the walled off section of the park that Cedar Fair is forgetting about. Or they're planning something big and just not telling us and hoping that we don't notice. But we notice and we will figure it out one way or another. Right gang, right, right gang. Montezuma over here basically being held together by uh, tape and tree branches. Seeing all of the changes in the company and just in, this, in the park itself it makes it really hard to look at this and see any kind of bright cloud. I don't know what their plans are for it. Nobody does. I'm sure somebody does. But it seems a little bleak because this, this is just kind of sitting here. I don't know if that little two by four has been there this whole time, but if that's new, at least it's something. I don't know what it's representing. Uh, I'm assuming it's a safety thing for them cleaning off the rails and not having people fall out. And we'll see what happens to you, Monty. Future is up in limbo at the moment. Fingers crossed, it's good news whenever we get it. And as long as we're on the subject, you know what? I'm not even gonna get started with this ride. Not today, Satan. Doesn't seem like Memory Lane got the uh, at the holiday decor memo. They might be slowly working their way back here, I guess. They'll get here. With the, the news that Accelerator might be coming up today, there's a large arsenal of rides that just aren't open. Of course, Pony Express has been down since Scary Farm ended. So I'm not sure if something's wrong with it. This understandably is closed because they've got to overhaul the inside. They got to re they got to reskin the inside to be nor the normal Calico Mine ride instead of the Candy Mine car ride or the Candy Candy Mountain Mine ride, whatever it is. But they got to redo that whole thing, so that'll be down for probably the next day or so. I'm assuming. Got a lot of people on that train. Isn't that a sight to see? Trees up, ready to be lit. About a week away. A little more than a week, I guess. Whew, that was kind of a lot to take in. Quite a difference that a week makes. Um, you wouldn't even know Halloween existed at this park. It is all about Christmas and Thanksgiving now. Uh, the only thing they have left to do is bring the lights on at night and start the uh, Christmas house music. They've got Accelerator up and going. That was a nice little surprise. I didn't even know that was happening today, uh, but very welcome, a very welcome addition to this park now. Maybe now we can figure out what's going on with Montezuma and what's going on with Camp Snoopy and move forward from there. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts in this park right now and this is very exciting times. We're gonna keep track of what's happening for the rest of the year and try to keep our ear to the ground on what's going to be happening here at the start of 2024. Big things on the horizon, I'm sure. But for the time being, we'll catch you all on the flippity flop. <laughs>